Hi, I'm here with Dr. Dari Schneider uh, from the La Jolla Institute. Hello. Dr. Schneider, I understand you're one of the leading researchers in diabetes worldwide, and the La Jolla Institute is one of the top institutions Thanks. in immunology. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the challenges that you have with your research right now? Challenges that we have with our research, it's not only about me, but it's about a lot of researchers out there, is that we cannot access the data that has been already published that it's out there uh, and that uh, shows results from 30, 40 years of research it could be very valuable for our research and it could, of course, facilitate um, our work. The current platform that we use to access um, this data is PubMed, which is unfortunately a very weak platform. Um, our big problems that we have with PubMed is that um, keyword finding is very weak. And there are 20 or more million articles out there, but the accuracy with which PubMed gives us answers to our questions is so weak that I sometimes prefer to do it manually. So, for instance, if you just take a simple revision article, it would take me between six and eight months to write. Wow. So, simple review article, six to eight months to research the background information. Just to research the background information. Keyword search fails. 20 or so million documents, you know they're in there, you just can't find them. Exactly. Okay, so we've developed a tool called Brain Browser, which is part of Analyst Toolbox, uh, brought to you by AI1. And let's see whether we can do something. We've got one of your review articles here, uh, emerging, oh, yes. emerging Immune Therapies in Type 1 Diabetes. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see whether Brain Browser finds uh, related articles. This is a review article that took me eight months. Okay, and I just pulled up results, you saw how long it took. What I can tell is all four results are very accurate and um, deal with what I'm looking for, so this looks like a good start. So let's go through that in slow motion. This is the article that Dr. Schneider wrote, and what we're going to do is give it to Brain Browser. This is a little plug-in that runs either on your local machine, as what I'm doing here, or in the cloud. And here it generates a series of keywords. Each keyword has a set of associations. Together they form a graph. We can visualize that graph as a fingerprint here, showing the semantic connections between all of the words. This is done without any training. Now we can give that to uh, a search engine, such as Google, as a long string search. And here are our results from the web. Might be more interesting to restrict this to PubMed, so I'll just use the site command. And here are the results. And one of the benefits is, is that you can choose how many articles you get back. We set this as a relatively uh, tight, narrow band of four articles, but we can actually bring up as many as you want in ranked in order of, of relevance. And so, Sounds good. So thank you very much, Dr. Schneider, for your thank time. You for coming. I hope this tool is useful to you. I hope so, too. Okay, thanks. Oh, one other question, Dr. Schneider. Uh, how much time would this save you? Uh, you said it would six months before. Exactly. It's hard to make an estimate because this, of course, depends on the article that I'm writing, on, on the work that I'm doing. But I would say, if I'm looking at, at this result that you just gave me, it would probably reduce the time that I need from eight months to maybe two weeks. Wow. Eight months to two weeks. Absolutely, yes. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Sure enough.